out. When did Flappers come out? Five years ago? Five years ago. Okay, so this is what happens. I get the call from the lady. What's her lady's name? Barbara. Barbara, right? She calls me, goes, hi, left a message. Hi, I'm Barbara. I'm opening up a comedy club called Flappers, and um, I remember you from back in the day, you know what I mean, from my visits at the comedy store, and I would like you to perform at my room. I called her immediately, and I said, I'd love to do it. So you have weekends? She goes, well, you're not a weekend guy. I go, excuse me? Yeah, I'm having Jimmy Dore and, you know, these names on it and Avi Lieberman. You know, they're the, the headliners and they're doing the weekends. You're more of a Tuesday call in, you know what I mean? And I'm like, bitch, I'm with CAA. Bitch. You know what I mean? I got, I've done movies and TV shows, bitch. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I go, okay. <laughs> That's what I said. Okay. And then I hung up, right? But it's like, I will never play that room. And then a year later, she left another message. I'm so sorry. You can do a weekend. How do I, you know what I mean? But at that point, it's done. Fucking done. I, will, I have stepped in that room maybe twice in my life just because my girlfriend was performing the open mic there because she wanted to try stand up. And I had another friend do open mic, whatever. I, I stopped. I was there mic. last Tuesday. At open mic? No, and uh, they do a Tuesday. Oh, they night do? Yeah, yeah. Thing, and I was there on Tuesday and went. Have you ever done a weekend there? One time I did the Friday night. Well, there you go. But I never did it again. Nice club, but I just don't Why? need to do it. Yeah, yeah. Why? Well, it's not good, right? It's a good club, and they get good people, and it's Burbank. Uh, I just thought that the whole thing wasn't worth the aggravation. Like, I got fucking, you know, Death Squad people don't buy tickets till Friday. They're stoners. <laughs> and she kept calling me Wednesday and Tuesday, like, you're not selling tickets. You got to give away tickets. And I'm like, I ain't giving away dick. Cancel me. And then uh, Friday, she came in and apologized. She goes, hey, man, when I got here today, there was a bunch of stoners out there waiting to buy tickets <laughs> and shit. And she's a nice lady. It's a great club. It's just not what we're used to. And there's a lot of clubs that we're not meant for, Bobby Lee. And we go there one time, uh, and you know when you walk in, you're like, ooh, this is not me. I, 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 I've literally gone up to club owners and said, this is a nice club. Don't ever ask me back. No, you have. I have. This is the worst weekend of my life. No, you have. I have. I don't give a... Because I don't even want them to call my agent to even see. One of the guys at Kansas City, right? He was a Christian. The right? wig or the club? Improv club. Improv. Oh. Right? He's a Christian. And when I told him that, he goes, can you get on your knees and pray with me? Oh, yeah. I go, what? So we get on our knees. He goes... He, I, it wasn't a joke. He goes, dear Lord, please... Open Bobby's heart, you know, to this club, you know what I mean? And I'm like, I got up, I got back on my f two feet, and I, 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 he was holding my hand, it was sweaty, you know what I mean? <laughs> like it was like vibrating and it was sweaty, and I got up and I go, dude, this is the fucking reason. <laughs> this is the reason I don't want to come back here. Was it just too clean? It's just the I, I, one show, a lady stood up, and I didn't even know what this word meant. I had to Google it. She goes, heathen. Never heard it before in my life. In the middle of Kansas City, they just called you a heathen? Yeah, I go, heathy? I didn't know what the fuck it meant. I, I'm, I'm retarded. I didn't know what it meant. And then I Googled it. I go, that fucking cunt. <laughs> I ain't no fucking heathen. You know? And as soon as that happened, I go, I'll never come to this fucking place again. Was the food good? Was the club good? good? Yeah, yeah, the hotel good. was yeah, good? Yeah, the hotel was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you just didn't like the club? You know, dude, it's like, if it's a lot of white people, like 99.9% .9 white, I generally can't play it. Do you know why? Why? Because of a cultural connection. If I play Seattle, 30% of my room are mixed, either Asian, black, Latino. Latino, right? And if I talk about my, my parents and my upbringing, and if it's all white people, they just don't get it. I mean, the jokes, because it's constructed where I have a punchline, right? They do giggle at it, right? But it's not that like, Kaka, kaka, where like I really know what you're talking about, and I just don't want to do. I don't want to convince people. You know what I mean? Of who I am. You know what I mean? It's like I just played Cleveland, and I I'll play. I only play that room because of Nick, the owner. Nick is of great. hilarity. He's one of the best people I've ever met. Best, the best. And the audience is. They, I, I sold out. You know what I mean? And the audiences are great. You know what I mean? But it's hard. It's hard. 
Like every show, I have to walk out, and they go, "You killed." I go, "I don't know." I, you know, I had a hard time there too. Yeah, in the I middle, hard, I yeah. lost them a little bit. You lose them, yeah, a yeah, yeah. Bit. yeah that's when tough. I was talking about my purple nutsack, you know yeah, what I mean, yeah, and how ethnic guys have purple nutsacks and stuff, and they're like, "Ours is pink," you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, but mine is purple. I don't believe you. You know what I mean? It's that kind of thing. Where if there's ethnic people there, go, yeah, dog, mine's, mine's purple too, or whatever. You know what I mean? Where else have you played that you don't like <laughs> the club? This is what, great. What? Where else? Okay, you? so they're Pittsburgh. Oh, my God. Steve Byrne told me to play it because he's from there. Right. Yeah, you're from there. You're going to do And you're also half white, right? I'm full Asian. I went there. I mean, you're talking about 60 people on a Friday for a show. You know what I mean? It's like, you know what I mean? I'm swinging 500 seats sold out at Irvine Improv, right? Schaumburg Improv, sell out every show. Right. How's Schaumburg? Been, you like Schaumburg? Amazing. You like Schaumburg? Yeah, okay. because it's close enough to Chicago, and there's just, you know, the cultural element is there. Canada, I fucking love. Canada's the fucking best everywhere in Canada. But there's some place, oh, you know what the worst one was? Denver Improv. Have you played there? Yes. Oh, my guy. That was the worst. You know what happened to me there? Why didn't you like the Denver Improv? I'll tell you one night. I, okay, I do a Thursday show, Friday show. In front of like 40 people, a show. I'm not fucking kidding you. Saturday, first show, I walk in the club. The doorman put me in a headlock. He put me in a black guy. He put me in a headlock. He goes, yo, dog, where's your ticket? Swear to fucking God. And I'm on your third night there? Yeah, it's my third night. I go, I'm the headliner. And he let me go. He's like, my bad. Bitch, you're supposed to fucking know that already. You know, what I mean? it's not like we're you know, it's not like a movie complex. Was it next you know to mean? your poster at the front door? Well, it's not like there's twelve comics in twelve different rooms. You know what I mean? It's one room, one guy playing the whole weekend, right? Know who that guy is? The same happened to me in Seattle, and I got him fired. In Seattle, I did two shows. I walked in a club, American Indian, long hair, braids. Hey, Bo, you, you, you sold out. I go, I'm the headliner. And when I got off the stage, he was fired. I didn't say to fire him. They just did it because it's embarrassing. But then I got him his job back the next day. <laughs> I felt bad because he had kids and stuff. And he's American Indian, you know what I mean? Yeah, but how can you not know? How you, can you should know fucking who know who is? your fucking headliner is. So it's Denver out. I, I went to Comedy Works. You know, that's the shit. You know what I mean? Pittsburgh out. Never again. I, I'll tell people, I love you people in Pittsburgh, if you're listening right now, but I can't play that room again. It's a disaster. <gasps> you know, here's another one, fucking, I can't play fucking Dallas with, uh, that, with Addison Improv. Why not? I just, it's, 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 it's chaos. There's a beer thrown on the stage, you know what I mean? A girl has her titty out in the front row. That's a crazy room. Yeah. And it used to be crazy 10 years ago. Yeah. Like, that's like, a crazy titty fucking room. Put your titty away. <laughs> that's I'm a white to... neighborhood, Addison. Yeah. It's next to a karaoke bar. Oh, my God. Like, yeah. It's like, that, you know, the dueling piano. The dueling piano. Yeah, dueling piano. So it gets all those knuckleheads in. Because if you go to a dueling piano, you decide to get hit in the head with a fucking piano. Wait, it's in the same room? At... Right next door, so you hear the piano and shit. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it's a great. Cl- I, I've always had fun at the Dallas Improv. I it's a go good for- room. I just did room. never made any fucking money, and I'm done with it. I tried it ten fucking times, and I'm done with it. It's Houston, a- I kill it. Just so weird. Like some places you do really. Austin. Right? Oh my god, I can't even fucking believe you just brought that up, dude. How's Austin? I'm gonna tell you something that happened to me in Austin, and I can't even believe you just said that because, and it's the mo- it's an atrocity, right? And I'm going to sue. I might sue. I was playing Austin a year ago, okay, on the books. Matt Blake calls me. He goes, you're out of, you're, a, week, a weekend, right? You're out of Austin. I go, why? Because Rich Miller called me and said that the year before, you were in a limo with the limo driver. You pulled your dick out, and you told the limo driver to suck your dick. <laughs> That's what he said. Did you? No. What, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't do that, right? I go, excuse me, Matt. First of all, when have I ever been in a fucking limo? And number two, 
Nick Youssef, my opener, was with me every second of every day. I never fucking did that. Why would I do that? I'm sober, right? I go, give me Rich Miller's number. Rich Miller is Dennis Miller's brother. Right, right, right. Who, now, they don't know the people oh. listening, right? So P- Rich Miller is Dennis Miller's brother, and he books comedy rooms, right? And he lives in Minnesota. I don't know the fucking guy, right? I call Rich Miller. He answers. I go, dude, I never pulled my dick out and told some white limo driver to suck my dick. I'm not gay. And also, I'm sober. Like, I'm in the AA. I have a sponsor. You know what I mean? I pray. I meditate. Why the fuck would I do that? He goes, I don't know anything about that. I double booked you. Right? I double booked you. And it's the other guy's a friend of mine. He has no money. But I'll get you back on the books. That's what the fucking guy tells me. Right? I hang up the phone. I call Matt. I go, that's what Rich said. He didn't even mention the dick sucking thing. Right? So the Matt... Call Rich again. Matt calls me back. He goes, "Yeah, you did it. <laughs> the dick sucking." So the Rich Miller can't say it to my face. He lies to me on my face, right? And then tells my agent that I did it. I never did it. And then I had my manager and my lawyer call the club itself to bypass Rich. They won't answer our phone calls. I don't know what the fuck happened there. I love that fucking room. That's a great room. I know it is. I know it's a great room, but I never. T- why would I? Why would I tell a stranger, a guy, to suck my dick? I know. I okay, listen. Listen to me right now. Okay. Okay. Ask me if I've ever sucked a dick before. Have you sucked a dick? Yes. Whoa. <laughs> I have. When? In high school. Why? I'm, because I was drunk. I'm not going to tell you who it was, with a buddy, he pulled his dick out, and I was not in high school, I was like maybe 8th to ninth grade, okay? 8th to ninth grade. Okay. Okay. Did he finish? Did he no, 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 no. I just <laughs> tasted a couple times, I didn't like it, it was salty, <laughs> right? So check it out. So I sucked it, all right? I'm willing to admit every fucking awful, dirty thing I've ever fucking done. I'm not, I'm not a fucking angel. I've made mistakes. I've been in and out of sobriety. I've relapsed before. I know my frailties, and I know exactly what I've done in my fucking life. All right? If you've asked, you know, when they say, were you molested by a guy with Down syndrome? Yes. He stuck his little sweaty fingers in my butthole when I was nine. And he gave me candy, and I went back every fucking day for three summers in a row to get that candy. (laughs) And I let him stick his fucking sweaty fingers in my butthole, and I jerked him off. I don't give a fuck. I want the fucking dip candy. You know, he had the dip, you know, with the stick? Right, with Right. So I went back, you know what I mean, every day for three summers in a row to get my candy. What was it going on during the school year? What? You, why, why did you only go during the summer? Because he, he was the guy that mowed the lawn at the fucking skating rink during the summer. And then during the winter, it was, so he never lived there. But in the summer, he was like the, the groundsman, right? So it was only in the summer. And he lived in the shack there. Right, and he had this candy on the rafters. I'm just telling you this right now because of the fact that it's a dark thing, but it's like I'm. I'll admit to it. All right, well, you know, I've I've told my parents every dirty thing I've ever fucking done, and I've done many. All right, and I've apologized for bad things, but I never pulled my dick out to a limo driver and told him to suck my dick. That never fucking happened. And then I'm banned from a room. And then I wanted to sue, and then my agent's like, Dad, I do business with them, with my other clients. You know, he was with CAA, so i like, can you not? I mean, I'll, I'll back you up. So I let it go. But I'm telling you right now, Rich Miller, I never fucking did that shit, and you should be a fucking ashamed of yourself. Okay? 